Hi guys, welcome back to Hair Dry Treatment with me. So I'm just on the way to the ground now. Um, I'm expecting a positive performance from United to be honest. I'm expecting us to get a few goals, um, expecting a win, but that's the thing with Solskjaer since he's taken over. That, that's what we do expect, isn't it? Every week we're going into games expecting to win. And we never had that under Jose Mourinho, so it's a fantastic place for us to be at. People were saying we haven't played a proper team yet and we beat Spurs at the weekend, so now those haters can shut up as far as I'm concerned. But let's make it seven today, let's keep this run going. And yeah, I'm feeling really, really confident in this game. Hopefully we can bag a few. In reference to the title of the video, I don't think Glenn Murray is a better striker than Romelu Lukaku. Can I just add that in? Um, a few people have been joking with me and saying um, Glenn Murray is more consistent and is a better all-around striker. For me, Glenn Murray, for a team like Brighton or a team like Palace, yes, he was fantastic. He bagged a lot of goals. He is quite prolific. He's a good finisher in front of goal. Um, but that's kind of his level. He never really made it a top team and I think there's no coincidence there, he's not a top, top player. He can finish, yes, and obviously he's closer to retiring, um, but Glenn Murray, it's a good comment there, saying he's not even better than Danny Ings and I kind of agree with that. I think he's definitely um, probably more of a championship striker to be honest with you, um, but he's a good finisher, but he's not better than Romelu Lukaku in my opinion. I am after the game, I'm currently on my way there now. Uh, I'm very well, thank you, how are you? My prediction? Because I'm feeling confident and we've got a clean sheet because of the magical De Gea at the weekend, I'm going to say a 4-0 United win. That's what I'm going to go for today. I'm feeling really confident, hoping that we stick to getting another clean sheet and 4-0 is my prediction and Glenn Murray hopefully won't get a sniff. Um, Glenn Murray only turns up when Brighton have an exceptional match or against United. Good ad. He scored against us, didn't he? Um, Lukaku is a very limited striker, only good if he's fed the ball inside the box. Glenn Murray is like that as well though, isn't he? Scores mostly tappings. Like I say, he's a good finisher, but that's pretty much it. Rashford is United top scorer since his debut. I think he'll bag three today. I hope so. Rashford is on fire at the minute. His finish at the weekend, I think, went underrated. He went under the radar a bit because of Pogba's pass. But let's not let's not deny that that was a quality finish from Rashford. Lloris maybe should have done better, but absolutely fantastic. Someone just said, who's the driver? No one. Please. No, you'll find out in a minute. Um, Murray will probably score now, hope not, I hope we keep a clean sheet. I said 4-0, Rash, Pogs, Jesse and Tony all to score. Martial, apparently close to signing a new deal. Fantastic news for the club, fantastic news for him as well, because obviously under Jose Mourinho that didn't look like an option, it looked like he was going to be at the door. So I'm hoping that today he celebrates that new contract with a great performance and bags of you as well. That's what I want to see today. I can't believe Rashford will be making his 150th appearance for United. He started young, didn't he? That is quite an impressive stat, to be fair. Glenn can hold the ball up better than Rom, but Rom is fast. I don't think there's too much between them. Bill Jones, the donkey, should not play. Boy, play. Jones did well at the weekend, though. We call him a donkey, and I know he's always got that mistake. He's liable to make a mistake. But Solskjaer, he seems to be his go-to man, doesn't he? He has played pretty well under Solskjaer. But like I say, he has always got that error, that mistake in his locker, hasn't he? Which worries me with Phil Jones, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, four nil is my prediction. Let me know what you guys think about the game as well. Are you going to a hotel football before the game? Maybe, depends what time we get there. I've got to get my tickets as well, but yeah, depends what time they get there. Are you going to be there, Anthony? Charles brought the new pink boots. I just saw a tweet actually saying that our shirt, our away shirt next season apparently is going to be beige. How do you guys feel about that? Very similar colour to obviously the pink one this year. Um, I quite like the idea of it. Cameron Lee says, are oh, you pitch invading today? If we get to 7-0 like that prediction there, then I'll pitch invade. <laughs> you know you're getting older when you're established first team players are now younger than you. It's true, Matthew. Any signings that Man United will make and for, so I don't think we're gonna sign anyone. I, I think we do need a centre back, but I can't see us getting anyone, to be honest. Anthony's already in hotel football. We'll see if we can pop in. Is the Wolves game on in there? Because I know that's the early kickoff, isn't it? Wolves against Leicester, and I wanted to catch a bit of that. We do need a centre back. Cooley Barley would be my, my number one choice, but I can't see us getting him in, Feb in February, in January. Oh, you always shared in the comment, hey, life is complete, says Cameron. 100, 150th appearance for his age. That guy is going to play, hey, play gigs, appearances, and Rooney and goal tally. I hope so. Onwards and upwards for Rashford, I say, and I hope that he continues to improve like he has done in the last few games. And Solskjaer is the right person to be in charge of him in terms of his finishing. Neymar or Mbappe? 
I'm going to say Mbappe because I think he's just electric and very, very young. A bit like Rashford, he's got a lot to improve on, but he's one for the future. Brighton Park in a double-decker buzz. It's true though, Brighton are expected to be a hard team for us to break down and normally we do struggle against teams like that. We'd rather a team come at us where it's more of an open game. But I think with how our speed is, has improved, how we move the ball a lot quicker, the flu a lot more fluent going forwards as well, interaction between players, they're not in fixed positions and I just think that we've got more than enough to break them down today and I can see us scoring a few goals, hopefully, that's my prediction anyway. Do you think that Oli should be given a job if he finished top four? Yes, I think Solskjaer is the man, I would love him to keep the job. Glenn Murray to Man United, <laughs> what for a swap deal for Romelu Lukaku? Hope Chelsea and Arsenal draw. Yeah, I can see, you know what, Arsenal are due a big result, but I don't know, I don't know if they've got the character in their team, so I think Chelsea will still win that one. Is Boye available for today's game? I believe he is, but I don't know if he'll play. Hello Sophie, be safe, you too, hope you're well. Attack, attack, attack only, attack is the best form of defence for sure. Yes to Oli. When are, when are you playing Goldbridge on FIFA then? Soon, soon. I spoke to him at the weekend. We will be arranging a game very soon on our channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Never speak about United's women's team. I do, I do. I've praised United's women's team. I said they need to be in a higher league because they're definitely too good for the division they're in. Um, but, yeah, they're playing some amazing football, banging in goals for fun. And definitely, there are plenty to be proud about the women's team. I do speak about the women's team and they are superb. Um, but like I say, they do need to move up divisions because they're too good for that league. I've got a feeling Palace will do a number on Liverpool today. I'll tell you what, I would absolutely love that. And Palace have been a bit of a bogey team for Liverpool in the past, so fingers crossed that that does come true as well. I would trade Lukaku for Bale. When are you going to play me on FIFA, says John? At some point I will have a game against some followers because I think that will be a bit of a laugh for sure. We'll arrange it. Right, anyway, people asked about the driver. It is George. I'm going to ask his opinion now. Obviously, we're going to the game. So, George, what's your prediction for today's game against Brighton? Hello, everybody. Um, well, first of all, before we go into the prediction, um, I want to address the Glen Murray, Romelu Lukaku situation. I do have a couple of quite good friends that are Brighton fans, and obviously... Um, they were having a bit of banter with me just saying about how Glenn Murray, you know, he's this, he's that. And, uh, you know, in, in all honesty, Glenn Murray is a decent striker. Like, there's, I think there's no, there's no getting around that. But when I say decent, I mean decent for Brighton's level. I think if you put him in, you know, one of the top six, I think he'd go missing. He, he, he's not fantastic. Um, hello, Mr. Exclusive. Good to see you, mate. Um, but, yeah, L Lukaku... Even me personally, I've given him a lot of stick in the past, and you know, in recent in recent weeks and recent days, even. And uh, to be honest with you, Lukaku, he's he's a very good striker. There's no getting around that. I think just under Mourinho, he he's still he's still bagged. He's still scored a decent amount of goals under Mourinho. It's just he's at Man United. We expect a certain caliber of player, and we, we expect a striker that can play football as well as just score. Don't get me wrong, I know in the past we've had um, absolutely incredible strikers like Van Nistelrooy, like Rooney, and I think we've been we've been spoiled really in terms of how good our strikers have been. Even looking at players like Berbatov, like he would look for the assist before the goal. Um, but going on to what I expect from today, um, obviously I don't expect Lukaku to start. He shouldn't. Obviously, I think 100% of Man United supporters now should be saying that. Realistically, um, Rashford is our first choice striker. You know, it's it's a no-brainer. He's scoring goals. He's the Man United sweetheart. He's come from the academy, and um, he's my favourite player. He's a lot of people's favourite player. Um, but I think going. Going on recent performances, you know, he has to start and he has to continue to start because he's actually developing really well as a player. Um, for me, my my prediction today is, I, I know a lot of people are saying like 7-0, 5-0, things like that. I really hope you're right. I, I hope you're spot on. Personally, I don't think it's going to be like that. I think this is going to be a harder game than, than we're expecting. Obviously, we've won the last six, 6-0 six under Oli. Um, but my prediction, I'm going to go for a 3-1. I think we'll still score goals. Uh, Rashford and Martial really in the, in the form that they're in currently. I mean, Martial's not been incredible, but he can, you know, he can turn on a sixpence. He can just, you know, do a player out of nowhere. So 
I, I think with our attacking ability against the likes of Lewis Dunk, players like that, I think I think we're going to score, and hopefully I'm going to go for three. Um, De Gea was absolutely ridiculous um, in our last game. You know, there's there's no getting around that. He is undisputed best goalkeeper in the world. If anybody else tries to tell me anyone different, even if I'm not a United supporter, I'm going to tell him you're talking nonsense, mate. Um, but I think going on. Going on the performance last week, De Gea is very solid, but I I just personally think that we will concede. I don't know why, I've just got a feeling. I don't think we're going to be absolutely, you know, watertight. And uh, one of the main reasons for that, like Soph just mentioned, is that Phil Jones is still looking like one of our first choice defenders. And uh, to be fair to him, when he's good, Phil Jones is good. But like Soph said, you've always got that little element of that. You're always, you're always thinking that, I don't know, a mistake's coming at any point, you think that, you know, he might receive a standard pass from De Gea, fall over, headbutt the floor, get all white on his face, and then pretty much from there, someone will run in and score. So hopefully that's not Glenn Murray just going on the title of the video. So I'm going to go for a 3-1. I think we'll concede, possibly from a, from a set piece. I know Brighton have some big players, um, you know, some decent centre-halves, etc. But I can I can just see them scoring from from some point or another. So going on that, I'm going to go three one. I'm going to say Rashford's going to bag two, Pogba's going to get one, and um, yeah, I think loads more of our players will end up uh, impregnating their girlfriends and having babies. So good, it's going to be a good day all round. <laughs> there you have it then. Three one is George's prediction. People are saying will Pogba score today? I hope so. Pogba has been incredible as it really last few games. The change in him has been. Absolutely fantastic. We didn't really, we didn't get the best out of him under Jose. We all knew that. We all knew he had the ability, and it was always going to be one or the other that left. And I'm just glad that it was Jose, and not Pogba, because he's showing us now his worth. He's showing us what he can do. He is that true attacking midfielder. I saw an interview that he spoke recently where he was saying, defending is not his game. He needs to be given the freedom. He likes to attack, and we've been seeing that more so, and we've been reaping the benefits from that. So I hope Pogba does score today. I think Rashford will score as well. And, and I hope Martial bags a few for his new contract as well as a bit of a reward because to keep a player like that I think is phenomenal. And I think we need that's the kind of calibre of player we need to be looking at. And I know people can say he could be lazy, but he has got so much potential. Like George says, he can beat a man, spare the moment, and when he's on form, he literally just you can't defend against him so Martial is the kind of calibre player that we need to be looking towards so I'm so happy he signed a new deal and I just hope he bags today in order to back that up as well so 4-0 was my prediction 3-1 was George's Glenn Murray is not better than Romelu Lukaku I just want to put that straight um, but fingers crossed he doesn't score today and make me look like a bit of a mug <laughs> um, Glenn Murray may just get pocketed by Young 2-1 to Brighton says James oh, don't be a party pooper I hope that's not true um, Fellaini to Monaco he's got injured Fellaini's pulling out Ashley Young's tactics I reckon he's spoken to Young and said hey do you survive any transfer windows and he said get injured and that's what he's done so Fellaini yeah, isn't going anywhere in his transfer window he's staying Brighton will score for a corner so did Jesse reply to you about YouTube comment about joining up no Jesse's blanked me but I'm going to keep trying don't worry I'll persevere I want to do a collaboration with Jesse Lingard because I think that would be absolutely class so I will keep trying um, and yeah Jesse Lingard collaboration on hair dry treatment. Just yeah, imagine that. It would definitely boost his, his profile. I mean, he's, he's clearly exactly. struggling at the moment, <laughs> so could do with hair dry treatment boosting his, uh, you know, his, his famousness. Exactly. <laughs> if he wants his channel to grow, he's got to join hair dry treatment. That's all I'm saying. So, Jesse Lingard, get at me. Fellaini's doing what Neymar does when his sister's birthday is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Great comment. That is a good comment, Matthew. It's very true. Um, Neymar's relationship with his sister is very, very odd. Um, so if you, have, if you haven't heard anything about that, go and check on Twitter. Type in Neymar and his sister and you'll find out what Matthew's referring to there. It is a bit odd, um, but quite funny. Is Flex in sight in the car? No, Flex is in another car. Maybe I'll see him at some point on the motorway, but not seen him yet. Uh, but he's travelling up. I will see him at the game today, and I will be getting on a fan cam as well. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like, and obviously drop a comment on the video. If you haven't subscribed to Hair Dry Treatment, please do. Hope you all enjoy the game. Hope you have a brilliant Saturday. Fingers crossed for a positive result. Fingers crossed that Liverpool drops some points as well against Palace. That's what we all want today. Cheers, guys. Take care. See ya.